Estamos invitados toda la gente potosina al estado a invitar allá a toda la banda a la quinceñera de Rubí, todos estarán invitados, por allá estaremos presentes. Ya listen sus maletas porque ya nos vamos casa en camino. Estaremos varias chicas ahí por la raza. Llevaré una chiva de 50 mil pesos allá para toda la banda en la que vamos a rifar. Y a ver quién se la gana. Fuerte a todos con esa chiva. See you later, como dijo el gringo. Ok, bye bye para todos y nos veremos con esa chiva ahí. Especialmente para el que la gane. Adiós raza. Que le viénense. La chiva. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. All right, so we're making foam cutters, which is um, to cut these big foams that we use to build seats and stuff, sofas. It's wire, but it, when it gets hot, it, it hangs and expands, so it's hard to make a straight cut yeah. on foam. So I looked it up, and copper has a low coefficient on thermal heat, which means it won't bend as easily or expand as much. Science. <clears throat> so we're using that. It would probably work if I plugged it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Moving already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's bending already. And it expands, yeah. I'm guessing. So when you try to make when you try to make a straight cut, it, it moves. But it cuts so thoroughly in. Like butter. One more time, one more time. Close up. Yeah. But it keeps moving once it goes through thicker wire. Science. And then Dude, that mug's red. Yeah. Touch it. <laughs> Touch it for real. You know how viral that we go? <laughs> you know how stupid that is? <laughs> I need views. Let's echarle el pescuezo a la chiva de Rubí. Estaremos invitados especial. Let me hit the gas in the reverse for me, huh? Monday? Alright, I gotta strip this copper. Do it again. Uh, strip it all. There it goes. Wow. Yeah. Is this a safety hazard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's safe. It's safe. Science. Why does this machine just... You're the closest there. <laughs> Grenade! Stripped. Look at it. Whoa. That's how you clean them copper wires. <laughs> That's cool. How many years of experience do you have in this? Um, not much. Yeah. Not much. None of us do. Science. Oh, yeah, you were right. It was expanding. A little bit. It's not as much as the other, the metal. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Good morning. Wait, no, good afternoon. It's like freaking two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm barely starting this vlog, brah. Vlog life, brah. Hashtag have to work, brah. Hashtag, yeah. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video. If you haven't seen yesterday's videos, go watch it. It'll be at the end of this. The, ooh, sorry about that, man. I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. I'm glad everybody's okay, though. Looks like everybody's okay. Hey, ambulance, everybody's okay. The guy's walking. I think you're, you're good to go. I think you're good to go. Hope you guys checked out yesterday's video. I put glue all over my face. Yeah, I know. It, it burned a little and it hurt taking it off. But it was worth it because I did it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog, bro. Do it for the vlog. Doing a Wednesday today. I asked you guys to, on my social media. If you're not following my social media, follow me on my social media. I mean, like, come on, man. Hit me a little dab, bro. Look at my dab. Quick and go check out my social media. I mean Snapchat. I mean Twitter. I mean Instagram. I mean Facebook. Just search Mexican Rupert and you'll see it. Uh, fire department. He's cool. He's walking. Crash is okay. Don't worry about it. Keep on going. Ask me questions, and I and you guys show sure did. So um um let me uh pick one real quick that I can answer. Man, give me an audition for your next project. Ha ha ha. What project, bro? You'll be one of my vlogs, bro. Just gotta meet up and you'll be in it, bro. <laughs> 
What part of Mexico are you from? That is from Juliana. Juliana. Juliana or Juliana? No sé. Pero vamos a ver. ¿Qué parte de México soy? I am from Guanajuato. Ocampo, Guanajuato. Well, that's where I was. Okay. Let me tell you my life story real quick. Okay. Okay. I was born in Mexicali, Baja, California, Mexico. Okay. That's where I was physically born. But all my family and everybody that I know is from Ocampo, Guanajuato. We just happened to be over there visiting family members. And well, I just decided to come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I was, I'm from, my, I'm from Ocampo, Guanajuato. I was just born in Mexicali. At the age of one, I came to Texas. Y desde entonces, I've been living here in Texas ever since I was one, like one or two years old. So I've been here most of my life. So, you know, Mexican made, Texas raised. I'm the best of the best, bruh! Corrine, uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but as you can tell from the vlogs, I don't know how to talk or read or just do anything, period. She asked on Facebook, um, what's the hardest part about being an adult? And I like to consider myself an adult. I'm 27 years old. I have a lot of responsibilities. I have a job. I run, help run a business. I, uh, I have a kid that I take care of and a wife. So I can tell you guys that the hardest part is just transitioning from teenager to an adult. Um, when you're a teenager, you don't have as many uh, responsibilities as you do as an adult. And sometimes you have adults to help you out to do things, to push you to do things, to show you how to do things. Well, when you're an adult, most of the time you don't have that. You don't have somebody there next to you, unless you're already married and stuff. But by then, you, I mean, you already conquered adulthood, I'm sure. But um, just the hardest part, the thing that you have to do, is just work hard. Being an adult takes work. Being an adult is, it's the freedom, okay? I can tell you that, guys, it's freedom. You get to do a whole bunch of stuff you didn't, weren't able to do whenever you want, however you want, because why are you an adult? But you have to know how to do things, and you have to learn how to do things, and you have to push yourself to do things. You're not gonna have your mom and dad anymore to push you to tell you to do this, to show you how to do this. You have to put in the work. You have to listen to people. You have to learn and you have to work. Push yourself. You have to push yourself. So if you do those three things, guys, you will conquer adulthood. Adulthood will be hard no matter what because that's part of life. The transition from being a teen to an adult is gonna be hard. No way around it. But just fight through it, man. Learn. Listen, ask questions, and just work. Put in the work, guys. Work, work, work. That's all I can say. Being lazy is not going to do anything. Um, ignoring things, putting them away, that doesn't help. I'm telling you that right now. That doesn't help. You put in the work. Just like I'm putting in the work for these vlogs. I'm sleeping four hours a day to get this vlog up every day for you guys. And I enjoy it. I love it. I'm not complaining. Yeah, you've seen the past couple vlogs. It, I do, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. But I'm pushing myself and I'm, I'm pushing my body to get used to it. And eventually I won't be complaining as much. And I'll be knocking these vlogs out like nothing. And as long as you guys are showing support and showing that you actually like them, I'll keep putting them out there. Um... But yeah, man, adulthood, I can talk a lot about adulthood. I can just keep on going and going. If you guys want advice, if you guys don't have any questions, just feel free to tweet me, Snapchat me. Um, and 99.9% .9 of the times, I will answer you guys back if you have any questions. But I hope that helped out. Anyways, back to work. My truck ain't doing good, guys. I've been shaking and rattling. I think it's leaking oil. Gotta check up and make sure she has oil in there. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm at home now. Um, Paula's a little sick, my baby. She has sore throat. So I'm about to go get her some medicine. Um, and then also pick up some food uh, so we can eat dinner. And uh, yeah, I just made a Christmas list with uh, Israel. Do you want to tell him about it? Yeah, guys, um, I decorate my Christmas list with this. I want to make us for Christmas puzzles, paint, stick up a bit. Gonna go get some rice and yummy nums. Yummy. 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 Thank you. Gotta help Poppy find the medicine. Where is it? Did you find it? 
Yeah, it was here. Over there? Yeah. Okay. We found it, baby. Yeah. We got it, baby. Let's go. Next step, we gotta go get some yummy yummies. And next step, we go home. Okay. Right, yummy yummies got. Let's go. I'm a nose. Back home, just finished eating and watching a movie. I kind of took like a 10 minute nap. This rose coloring. I'm coloring the Everest pictures. Uh, Paw Patrol? Yeah. Um, I think I got one last question to answer today. Let me uh, check. I think it was off Facebook. Uh, da, 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 da. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. I got it, guys. Hold on. Mm. Yes, here it is. Vicente asks, what are the things you like to do with your family? Um, let's see, what do we really enjoy to do? Any any kind of activity, active activity I really like to do with them. Um, playground, camping, sports, whatever. Um, where we like to watch movies too. Uh, Israel, mm. what do you like to do with your family? Uh, uh, listen. Listen? And watch movies. And watch movies? What up? And practice my song. Practice your songs? Okay. That's a good answer. <laughs> Mama, what's your favorite thing to do with family? Anything. I mean, we play here in the room. We have bowling games here in the room sometimes, and, and that's fun. Um, We play hide and go seek sometimes, stuff like that. And we play. Watch movies. <laughs> yeah. And we play. Yeah. So yeah, anything that's just fun and inter interactive. Um, and don't forget coloring. Oh yeah, we do a lot of coloring. Yeah. We like to do a lot of coloring. But thank you, Center, for the question. Let's go ahead and talk to you guys and uh, end this vlog um, before I take a shower because then after that I'm just gonna go ahead and edit. But um, guys, mommy gave me this surprise. You got some nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. Two nutcrackers. Yeah. But um, today was just a, a slow, slow day, guys. I was really busy at work, and um, we didn't do much after that. But um, we did do a lot of science stuff. Science. All right, so for this week, um, I'm going to use that exact same question and ask you guys, what's your favorite thing to do with your family? Comment down below. Leave me comments. I'll be reading through them. I'll answer them. And uh, yeah, I love the Q&A we had today. Um, we talked about the Rubis Quinceañera, you saw El Cuñao, um, Chaparro, he, he's going out there supposedly with this Chiva and everything, but um, it, it was funny. Um, it's just crazy to me how this 15 invitation has blown up. Over a million people have confirmed to go on the Facebook event. That's crazy. But that just shows you, man. Mexicans, we invite anybody to parties man if you're going to a mexican party you're more than welcome to come in because uh we don't care who's there mexicans we like to throw our parties and uh people like to go to mexican parties because they got good food they got good music um, there's always a show and it's always all night long the party goes on forever tomorrow guys tomorrow's gonna be the high of 40 and the low of 28 this is dallas texas it doesn't get to 28 i got a clip about it Check it out. YouTube. Look how cold it is. Check that out. 20. I know that ain't much for y'all northern people. But Dallas, Texas. That is freaking cold. Hey. Get off my car. Hey young guys. That's my brother over there having fun. That hot girl on that phone, that's that baby girl right there. That's why I married her. Because of that picture on that phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys can expect a cold, cold vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be covered up. And I'm going to have three layers of everything on my body. Um, especially because we work outdoors and um, we don't have heaters there. But thank you guys for watching as always. Keep coming back tomorrow because they're going to keep popping. I'm not stopping, guys. I, I'm in the mood right now, man. I got, what, seven days down? <sighs> Go ahead and edit this vlog and put it up for you guys. Um, staying up late tonight because we work and we grinding. Why? 
Because I'm just a Mexican with a dream. Peace.